it definitely was a big challenge it no no you no you didn't no you didn't lose me you didn't lose me okay it was it was a big challenge for me a very big challenge because remember you know from moving to having a total healthy child then to have a child that just get autism overnight it was a huge mind bubbling event for me in my life and my family we did not plan for it we did not know how to go about it there's no manual how to go about having an artistic child how to raise them there's no manual or there wasn't any manual there fortunate for me besides researching what I could research on the internet. My sister is actually one of the head in the Peach Organization for the United States of America. And the Peach Organization, for those who don't know, is the body that the United States government set up to deal with artistic children. Right? So, she gave me a few she gave me a few pointers but here I'm to autism and, and, and children who are autistic each child is an individual case you can't group everybody underneath one umbrella because it's where you're at at the spectrum because when you do a consultation with like a Dr. Sam Vans and a, an assessment and they assess the child so that you will know if you're at A, B, C. So you can have mild, you can have severe, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's where you fall in that spectrum after them do the assessment. So each child, no. And, and, uh, and let me tell you something. Not having that information or having persons who have actually trod the journey so that they can actually assist you on your journey is a hell of a thing. That's why we need to get out. We need, need to get out the awareness of this. You know what I'm saying? Well, firstly, the first and most important thing in any artistic or children with challenges life, the number one thing is to have love. You have to have love. You have to love them unconditionally. And when you hear somebody say love unconditionally, you have to be a parent who actually open up your heart, your mind, and your soul, and trust in a is a journey that you have to know. Say, listen, God, I trust you. I know it's not going to be an easy one, but I trust you, and I know that you don't do anything by mistake. You get what I say? Secondly, you have to have money. With them kind of children here let me give you let me give you a rough example my son is 17 years old from the age of three coming up i've had to have a living helper for whenever i have business to conduct 
where whenever my partner because I live with my partner and my two sons yeah whenever because she has a very busy schedule as well like myself so paying for help on a monthly is a big cost you have a thing called speech and behavior therapist that is like five thousand dollars per hour you need a whole heap of hours for the month the average jamaican cannot afford to pay for 10 hours out of a week or even five hours out of a week for get speech and behavior therapy so we need subsidiaries from the government for the people who cannot deal with it because it don't make sense the pitney them does dead and wither away because the parents cannot afford it listen you see andrew andrew know what he needs to do and what he needs to get done and i can tell people that not because andrew is or was a schoolmate of mine because we both attended saint catherine High. at one point when he was in upper six he taught my class accounts because our, something happened to the accounts teacher so he filled in for a few months so mino says a brilliant mind what andrew need to do for set a president in a jamaica because nobody before him did it was to ensure that him really put something in place for children with autism may that be a legacy remember mr siago put a whole heap of things in place and put the heart foundation and put a whole heap of things in place andrew have set a president Remember when Andrew was a minister of education, he made a difference. He made a difference when he was a minister for education. Yeah? True or false? All right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'll go and say something to you. All right, let me show it. All right, let me show you a thing. My son, for the majority of schools that he has attended, I've had to hire a shadow teacher for him. This shadow teacher helps to help him stay focused to deal with his schoolwork. How much regular Jamaican can hire a shadow teacher besides paying a hefty school fee will come at you every three months? Because the reality of it is in Odelia and Johnny, you cannot put a child with autism, bum, in the middle of a regular primary school, in the middle of a regular prep or, or whatever school. You cannot just leave them in there. Firstly, it is sad to say, but this generation that we are living is a generation where don't have no only empathy, sympathy, or love in them art. So instead of them look out for certain children, they're going to mat them and they're going to 
take disadvantage of them. We need to establish something whereby, listen, we have a body that is funding the organization properly. We need, like, listen, a whole heap of them Chinese um, country and Japan and European countries and whatever. They, are, they all want to invest in Jamaica. Let's invest into the mental health and the whole schooling of the children that need it as well. This is not something we are for doing. You have a whole heap of companies where come down with fun, a whole heap of studios in the garrison areas. We can get funding for this thing. Like I am personally going to spearhead a group, a support group with people with autistic children and children with other ailments to come and so that we can help to support each other. More I set up this thing away so that we, we, we can take on this thing serious. Guys, there's a serious thing I go on. Yeah, man. Yeah, but you know, I know, I know every time we are going to talk about the music, you know, this this is something we need to get out there and hear what now. I'm going to appeal to all of the fathers them out there. When you find out, say, that injection mash up your youth, whether she want to be a girl or a boy, because this injection is more geared at the boys, you know. That's why you that's in 90 five or 97 percent of children with autism are boys because them gear it at this shrine all right all right all right so we'll catch up we we'll catch up on next time the fathers step up step up don't leave the mother them for buckle by themselves you know me i say all right yeah man i'm big up there themselves and the people them can link me at mr g aka goofy on instagram and link me up to become a part of the group. All right. Bless. Yeah. Bless up to the item. Yeah, we just done do an interview upon um, RGR 94.5. You know, me, I said, we well, discuss autism and how it's affecting our children. And we need to support the parents who have autistic children. No matter if anybody up on the live have any artistic children, it we up in the DM. We are form a group. You know what I say? And we are gonna take on this thing seriously and develop and build up the awareness so that we can actually make a difference. Yeah? They are them bless up there themselves. Out of love. Greetings one and all. This video is to appeal to my friend Shaggy Avil Borel. Bro, I know say the government and certain people try to tarnish your name and your reputation about some funds that you generated the raise from the charity concert towards children's hospital. But let me say this to you, my brother. You said that way they are though, one of the biggest blessings upon not only Jamaica, but the parents of children that get sick. Because no matter how much money an individual has and is here in Jamaica, when your child gets sick, certain way, private doctor can't help them. Right down at children's hospital, they must go. And let me tell you, because you know me a real parent. A whole heap of nights me used to spend down at children's when my youth, them the younger. Cause them big, them big now, them, them not go down there anymore. Cause you know, say, from age 1 to 12, them take kids. You know me, I say? But Shaggy, you made a great improvement to children's hospital. And my brother, me know them try to tarnish your name and everything, but me can tell you this. Mere people are ball out. About the 
conditions of children's hospital right now. We need you to look forward and deal with this thing here. Start back your charity concert to deal with it, my brother. The people them need it. Not even water me here said on a children's hospital as much as this week. It no look good. Me can tell you say since you did that do where you do for children's hospital, me see the improvement one thousand percent. Cause one hundred come like joke. Me see where by dung that it start look like some proper foreign facility. So Mr. Burrell, may I beg you, may I appeal to you. Just pick up at the whip and do the right thing. Don't watch them people who try to tarnish your name. Because you do things and it was for the greater good. Saying, respect and manners, bro, bro.